what is up guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are having a great day um today's video i'm going to be checking out oversimplified i'm not sure what the youtube policy is about this man but from the title and the thumbnail you know who i'm trying to talk about right now but obviously this video is, uh, they probably mention his name a lot so i might as well mention his name here the title of the video hitler oversimplified um <laughs> guys um this i'm really excited to watch this video because um i've 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 watched, you know, the World War II and all the other stuff related to kind of Hitler stuff. I do have not watched everything, obviously, but I've watched a lot. And um, this probably this video is probably like Hitler's history, I guess, if I could, if I could say so. So I would like to know how, where he came from, how he how he became what he was. Now let's get into the video. this baby so gentle so innocent you'd think this child would grow up to become a good man an honest man <laughs> well think again guys i've always wondered like in terms of um babies you know every baby that is born looks so adorable looks like he will never he or she will never hurt a fly but they will not grow up into different kind of human beings and i've always wondered if we, there was a like a possibility of some kind of utopia where um each baby like there's a there's a way you can predict how they will turn out what do you guys think will happen like do you do you actually think that people will actually kill their babies if they know that their babies are going to turn out into people like this or people like other bad guys that you that you know what do you think like do you think people are actually do it or they would say no 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 we'll try we'll try we'll, we'll try and remedy it it cannot be like that uh it cannot be like that do you think it's going do the people do you think people are, are going to have the the balls to eliminate their own baby if There was a way to know that they would turn out this way. Do you think so? Personally, I don't think it's. I don't think they will do it. I don't think anybody. Okay, I know some people may do it, but I think majority of people will not do it. They will always have that hope that their children are going to not be like that. Even if there was like a definitive, a definitive way to know, like this hypothetical situation depends on the fact that this. Um, prediction is definitive like it's not wrong like a DNA test so would parents actually do that? I don't think so I really really doubt that I really 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 doubt that most parents will not do it despite the fact that their children could turn out to be monsters they will not do it you think this child would grow up to become a good man an honest man well, think again. <laughs> Hitler was born Adolphus Hitler in 1889 in a small town in Austria-Hungary. His father, Elmer hmm? Schickelgruber, was born Hitler, Hitler, Dad. but eventually changed his name oh. to that of his stepfather, becoming Al... <laughs> oh, that, was, that was out of line. That was out of line. Obviously, obviously, I, uh, it didn't just come out of thin air. I know someone impregnated his mother and he came out, but that is not... The reason why I made that comment was that um i was thinking like maybe he didn't really have a fat like how would i put it like <sighs> like i always felt it was someone that was born out of wedlock that's what i always felt i didn't ever, i didn't really think that he was someone that like he had a father like father you know there's even between sperm donor and a father i thought he was i thought he had a, a sperm donor not a father that's what i thought i mean that at least that's what i thought so, apparently I had the father, okay. Alois Hitler. Alois was a mid-level Austrian customs officer. Not really rolling in cash, but certainly rolling in women, 
He married a rich older lady wow. and then immediately started having affairs, including one with a much younger house servant. A few years later, he left his sick wife to be with his mistress, but since the Catholic Church didn't allow divorce at the time, he couldn't marry her. So he waited for his old wife to die and had wow. a child in the meantime. Then his wife died, so he married his mistress and had another child, but then his new wife got sick, so he employed his much, much younger cousin Clara to take care of her. Then when his new wife died, he immediately got Clara, his cousin, pregnant, and then married her. In that order, you rock star. Clara and Alois had three children together, who all tragically died while in infancy. So when what? the fourth child, Adolf, came along, Clara spoiled him rotten. The Hitlers had two more kids, and the family moved wow. around a few times, meaning Adolf had to attend five wait, different wait, wait, wait. schools. You see what I'm saying? You see why I have tried to talk Oh, I'm good, I'm good. You see why? I, 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 that's the reason why I actually thought that they didn't have a father. You see why? You see? It was kind of incest. Uh, is that incest? What? Cousin. Uh, uh. Cousin is incest, right? I mean, there are people that marry their cousins and people think it's not incest. I think that is incest. I think so. At least your blood cousin. So. Hitler came from an incest relationship. That explains stuff. Explains everything. Clara spoiled him rotten. The Hitlers had two more kids and the family moved around a few times, meaning Adolf had to attend five different elementary schools. Adolf's father was strict, quick to anger, and took most of it out on the eldest son until he had enough and ran away at the age of 14, leaving seven-year-old Adolf to do most of the chores and get berated by his father. The result was a difficult relationship with his dad while he was super attached to his mother, who worried over him and his health excessively. Hitler did well in school at first. His grades were good and his teachers praised him. He was popular with the other kids and enjoyed gathering them together to play war games. He also loved reading and particularly liked stories about cowboys and Indians. As he grew older though, he started to get into trouble. He was caught smoking once, organized a raid on a local orchard, tormented his pro-Austria religion teacher with symbolic gestures, displaying his allegiance to the idea of united Germanic people under a greater German state in defiance of Habsburg Austria. You know, the usual. All of this enraged Adolf's father, who punished him severely. The area of Austria-Hungary that Hitler lived in was once part of the German Confederation, and many of the people who lived there considered themselves to be German. Adolf tended to just go against whatever his father said, and since his father was an Austrian public official, Hitler got big into German nationalism. This enraged Adolf's father, who punished him severely. <laughs> Around this time, a family tragedy struck. His six-year-old brother, whom he loved a lot, died of measles when Adolf was ten, and was buried in the cemetery just across from their home. Around this time, neighbors reported a change in the young boy. Strange behaviors such as talking to trees and staying up late staring at the stars from the cemetery walls. He lost interest in religion and his school grades started to decline, which enraged his father who punished him severely. <laughs> it also didn't help that he had just entered high school and the cool city boys treated him like a rural peasant. He had to repeat a grade and had little interest in most school subjects, instead spending his time reading and drawing, which he was quite good at. One day his father said, Son, someday you'll be a big balls public official like me. And Adolf replied, No, father, I'm going to become an artist and soar high above the clouds with the eagles. This enraged his father, but by this time he was an old ass man. So, so he just couldn't, sort of couldn't beat him again. <laughs> and then died of a lung hemorrhage. Hitler just about passed his final semester and celebrated in the typical way by getting blackout drunk and wiping his ass with the certificate. However, he didn't take the overall final really? school exam. Instead, just. Is that really a true story? That is ridiculous. <laughs> You know when I like I always say every time I watch oversimplifies which is I'm not always sure which what which is satire which is the true. Like did that actually happen? Tell me down in the comments below, guys. Tell me down in the comments below. Did that actually happen? Like <laughs> that is ridiculous, man. Fucking hilarious. The now 16-year-old boy was unemployed, without much purpose in life, and for the next three years he stayed that way. He spent most of his time at the opera with his only friend oh. August Kubizek. Kubizek later wrote his memories of the young Hitler and said he was passionately interested in many things, felt he was in many ways better than others his age, was quick to anger just like his father and an incredible speaker once he was ranting. When he was 18, he said a very sad goodbye to his mother and went to Vienna to take the entrance exam for art school. He failed. Soon after, he had to return home. His mother was sick and her health was rapidly deteriorating. Hitler stayed by her side, and when she eventually died, the family doctor said he had never seen someone so overwhelmed with grief as Hitler was. 
Then Hitler returned to Vienna, still hoping to find a career in the arts, but he never did. Instead, without parental support, Hitler ended up on the streets. Now in his early 20s, he spent a few rough years living in and out of homeless shelters, making what little he could from selling postcards he painted. It's hard to pinpoint exactly when and how Hitler's extreme ideological beliefs formed, but his time in Vienna would have certainly played a role. Anti-Semitism was widespread in the city. The mayor, whom Hitler supported, was an outspoken anti-Semite. There were many right-wing anti-Semitic newsletters, which Hitler took a keen interest in. He bought into the conspiracy theories and became a firm believer in the idea that there are many races in constant struggle with one another, the purest of which were the German Aryan people, and the worst of which, he believed, were Jews. Since Austria-Hungary was a multi-ethnic empire full of lesser races, Hitler wasn't a fan. So when he was 24, he moved to Munich in Germany to avoid doing military service. And for one more year, he was a drifter on the streets until something huge happened. In 1914, long-standing tensions in Europe erupted into the First World War. Crowds across Europe celebrated the news. Within days, Hitler volunteered for the German army. The war gave him a purpose in life. His fellow soldiers gave him friendship and brotherhood. Despite the horrors of war, Hitler considered it to be the best time of his life. He was reportedly a brave soldier and was awarded the Iron Cross, wow. first class. He was also very lucky and had many close encounters with death. His luck ran out in 1916, however, when an artillery shell injured his leg. He went back to Germany to recover and was outraged to find a general apathetic anti-war attitude among the exhausted and hungry German populace. With the war turning against Germany, he returned to the front lines, but was temporarily blinded by a British gas attack in 1918. A month later, still recovering in hospital, Hitler learned of Germany's defeat and surrender. The terms of the peace treaty were tough on Germany. It had to pay a lot of money and lose a lot of soldiers. These conditions weakened Germany and humiliated the German people. Europe's borders changed after the war. I mean, two. new countries were formed. I watched that in World War, after World War One and the World War Two as well. So, I know, I know how the origin of the whole Nazi stuff started. So, this is almost like. Russia again. lost territory, Austria-Hungary was dissolved, and there was one big new country splitting Germany into two. Hitler, seeing the country he loved humiliated like this, said that hatred grew in him for those responsible, by which he meant communists and Jews, who he believed had stabbed Germany in the back by spreading dissent and anti-war propaganda back home. Wow, I mean, like, <laughs> this history actually makes sense. If you look at it, it really, really makes sense. Like the origin, in terms of what he now eventually became. Um, but I've always wondered how people can be radicalized in terms of like thinking that the Jews and the communists were totally responsible. So now I now understand why he he really hated Russia, and that was why he invaded Russia. As, if you guys know, when I watched the world war ii video i was like that they fucked up trying to invade russia so i now understand why that was the case like because he hated them because he felt like the communists and the jews betrayed germany so okay i mean this this is really interesting i'll see you guys in the part two thank you for watching